scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needed the bible clearly tells us that proximity to a blessing does not equal possession you can be so close to a person you can be so close to an opportunity that can lift you but that there is a door that can stop men from reaching men he says trouble me not the door is already closed. I have shut the door. Hallelujah. The second scripture. And then we take the time to pray. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. We'll start from verse 25, Acts 16. And at midnight, Paul and Silas were bound in prison with chains on their hands, their feet. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. 26, suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. It says, and immediately, someone prophesied, all the doors were open. How many? The doors of lifting, the doors of breakthrough, the doors of speed. That there was something Paul and Silas did in the prison that made all doors to open. This is why we're here tonight. To insist that every door because you see some doors can open and yet other doors will refuse to open but the Bible says all doors were opened and everyone's band was loosed we are here to insist that every door that hinders us I have taught you again and again that doors are barriers that interface dimensions doors are the barriers that bridge your yesterday and your tomorrow and that if these doors are not open you can remain in a position and stagnate for years i did tell us that time does not change anything time only reveals hallelujah and so we are here to insist that the doors be open scripture said lift up your head O ye gates then it says be ye lifted everlasting or ancient doors that means the doors are not young a door can be there before you were born and still remain even in adulthood and insist and refuse to open and you stagnate at a realm at a dimension you remain there for a very very long time hallelujah we came tonight to really pray and then to praise because these were the things that Paul and Silas did. The Bible says that they prayed 
and when they prayed they sang they did not murmur the songs it was so loud the other people in the prison heard them you know the things of the spirit you always look stupid till the results come are we together now yes when noah began to tell them that rain was coming they laughed at him they mocked at him for 120 years he was building an ark of gopher wood and then the bible says when all the animals came in god himself shut the door so not every closed door is demonic there are doors that god closed because some people should not come into your life again there are doors that god shut the red sea was a door God opened it for the nation of Israel to cross and he shut that door and said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. When it has to do with the blessings of God, the Bible says that your gates shall be continually open day and night. They shall not be shut so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. But there are times that there are certain doors that have been opened. That's why the devil continues to come and buffet lives and families. And it is also important that tonight God shuts those doors. So he's not only opening doors tonight, he's also closing others. Are we blessed? Yes. But for many of us, what we need is open doors that grant us the access to new realms. In ministry, open doors. In business, open doors. Did you know you can be in a land of opportunity, a land of plenty, and yet the doors are closed, the doors are shut towards you. Did you know your spirit man has doors? Your mind has doors. Minister Dunsin sang, and gave the body of Christ a song to say channels of my spirit open up channels of my understanding open up you can anoint a man and yet the door of his heart is closed hallelujah there are evidences listen carefully there are evidences that prove that a door is open you need to understand this hallelujah I will only give you two of them tonight because we have a lot of prayer to do. Open doors are not an assumption. You don't sit down and just assume that your doors are open. The first sign of an open door is movement, motion, motion. When doors are open, there is no stillness. There is movement in and out in and out the bible says the path of the justice says is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day that means god desires that we continue to transit from one dimension of glory to the other when you are pegged at a level and for many years the only thing that grows in your life is your age is proof that there is a door that is closed before you hallelujah movement motion that the next time we see you you are a superior version of yourself we look at you and we can see the faithfulness of god in your life financially spiritually you cannot be at the same level of hunger today that you were two years ago it's a sign that there is a spiritual door that is truly shut before you i should look at you after two years six months four months and see a deeper dimension of hunger a deeper level of passion over the things of god you cannot be at the level you were two years ago no man of god you cannot be at the same level i met you two years ago in the anointing no sir you pray for 10 people only two get healed you pray two years later for 10 people only two get healed it's not a testimony again are we together yes doors that allow for access i should also see the movement of things into your life things that were not there yesterday i should see new opportunities i should see new people new relationships new dimensions of information and knowledge listen let me tell you this did you know in my opinion the greatest doors that need to open are not physical doors. They are not even financial doors. They are doors of the spirit and the doors of your mind. When your mind is closed, your destiny is really closed. The Bible says, then open he their understanding. 
understanding is like a door it can be closed open he their understanding that they might understand scripture so god opens up your mind to understand the realities of the spirit and then you begin to introduce new dimensions of spiritual reality and you find out that with those information you are transiting from one level to the other doors can open over people doors can open over cities doors can open over families and the first proof of an open door is motion movement someone prophesy to yourself i refuse to remain in one position i refuse i reject it lift your voice prophesy while you are seated i refuse it not in ministry not in business i cannot be at the same level financially i cannot be at the same level relationally i cannot be at the same level spiritually in this season of open doors i command movement movement from one level to the other from one level to the other the bible says and we all with faces unveiled as in a mirror it says that we when we behold him we are changed there has to be movement in your life hallelujah praise the lord movement is powerful in elementary science we are taught that one of the characteristics of living things is movement that you can verify that a person or a thing is alive by its movement is that true yes so when movement stops in your life when motion stops in your life is proof of death even if you are alive the same house for 30 years except if it's yours the same situation financially the same level in ministry, the same level of spiritual understanding is proof of a closed door, is proof of stagnation. There must be movement. And someone seated here by the Spirit, the Holy Ghost will pick your hands and walk you through open doors and take you to realms and dimensions where it will be proof to the nations that God has moved you forward. Yeah. Hallelujah. He told the nation of Israel, he said, Ye have come past this mountain long enough. Turn ye not words. It's important. I detest stagnation. It is dangerous. It can waste your time. Listen carefully. It can waste your destiny. I hope you know that the unit of destiny is time. Whatever impedes your time and your progress in life, is destroying your destiny i truly believe with all my heart that believers should not be at the same position that our lives must record intentional results i believe in motion i believe in progress and it is important for you to be sensitive enough to observe your life and ensure that you are making progress do you know sometimes you can be so used to stagnation you do not even remember again that you should move forward you can be so used to a level you can be so used to a dimension spiritually financially you can be so used to pain you can be so used to losses you can be so used to retrogression that is no longer captured in your space that you should move forward let it not become foreign for you that God advances men it says that that I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it we should make progress in our lives the ultimate desire of the father is that he be glorified through the church that is true but whilst we focus on doing that remember that God is a benevolent God and so he intends and desires that while we serve the purposes of the kingdom our lives also make progress listen to me do not receive that advocacy of a God who looks like he wants to stunt you and limit you and all he's concerned about is using you to promote his interest that's not the God we serve his fatherhood is is um, his benevolence is very stretchy so far to see to it that whilst you serve his purposes in experience 
it is reflected in your life that you are also partakers of his glory the bible says he has raised us up with him he didn't go alone and leave us alone so it is true that whilst we serve the purposes of god if need be we make the requisite levels of sacrifice to see him glorified however please learn and know today that god desires that while i serve him i do well while i serve him i make progress did the bible not say herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit john chapter 15 and verse 8 hearing this is how the father is glorified this is how the father takes glory not just that you are preaching and you are going down you are broke you are suffering you are it's as if god jesus did not die for you as if he just sent you without any package for you know he said when i sent thee lackest thou anything because a worker the bible says is deserving of his wages are we together yes I made up my mind years ago that I will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound alone. That every dimension of kingdom reality that can glorify the saints must be captured in their lives. Spiritually, they must rise in influence. They must rise financially. They must rise in their understanding. Abraham, the Bible says, was old and well stricken in age. He says, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. Not some things not some things the lord had blessed him in all things so someone say movement as proof that a door is opened when when a door is open there's no more barrier i can open this door and walk out freely you know the bible talks about the gate of jericho and the doors that they were shut no one went in and no one went out when the doors of inspiration are shut towards you there is no creativity there is no growth hear me business people it is not just human connection that opens you up to growth no the door of inspiration must be open he says there is a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty can make men of understanding jesus continued to teach his disciples on the things of the kingdom they kept looking at him listening intending to learn but the doors of their understanding were shut to perform a miracle upon them the bible says then open he their understanding open he their understanding a man's understanding can be closed and no matter you can stand in front of an opportunity and never know it's an opportunity because the door of your understanding is shut there are many music ministers that never write songs they do their best to compose songs it does not work because the door of spiritual inspiration is shut are we blessed do you know please look up this bible you see just because you open the bible does not mean it is opened i hope you know this does not mean this bible is open it just means the book is opened are we together now so i can be looking at this i'm reading psalms this psalms that but in the realm of the spirit is still closed because this book is a door a door itself a door into the treasures of the spirit watch this this book is like a a map it can create coordinates and like a compass it can guide a man into an enviable destiny are we together now so just because the bible is opened does not mean it really is opened you can be reading and all you are reading is history you can be reading and all you are reading is a storybook you can be reading and all you are reading is a compendium of controversies disjointed communications that don't seem to add up and your verdict at the end of it is that there are gaps in this bible and it does not profit however when the holy ghost opens this word to you you will be amazed to find out the riches and the treasures that are locked in within hallelujah praise the lord i remember when the Lord Jesus appeared to me, after the miracle that he performed on me, I was surprised when I opened the Bible. It was as if I had never read it again. I said, no, you are not just an ordinary man. What I see is beyond the physical body. 
I'm about to be taken. Ask quickly. Say a double portion. He said, Ah, you've asked a difficult thing. However, if your eyes can be that open for you to see, then you can receive. And when he looked at him, he said, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Do you know what it means? You single handedly are the warrior over Israel. You are equivalent to a chariot that literally protects the heritage of God over that land. I see that you are not just a man. You hold a key that preserves God within a system. And he said, you have it. He received that mantle immediately. Blessed are your eyes for they see. There are pastors today who have lost valuable members valuable partners because they could not see listen listen to what i'm telling you when the door of your your eyes are closed you will see good things and not know they are good things until they live your life and you will regret almost forever why did i make this mistake i saw this man of god but i didn't have the eyes to see his tomorrow i didn't have the opportunity to know that a man that i was once close to will tomorrow become a voice how many people today know some of the multi-millionaires and the billionaires in lagos and within this country once upon the time they were at the same level but the eyes to see was not there ah if all you see is in the flesh your eyes are closed the miracle of an open eye is a real miracle so when we're dealing with open doors we're not just dealing with financial doors the grace to discern lord who is rising grant me the eyes to see who is who are who is the next person you are lifting grant me the eyes to see so that i will be part of his lifting i know a man of god in this nation and he said his biggest secret is the ability to see when people are about to rise and participate in their success so that when they rise they become too grateful to forget him there are family members just when your brother is about to rise the devil will shut your eyes and you will fight him that track record will be his last remembrance of you that you fought his destiny the moment he rises every time he remembers you he remembers you in pain open my eyes is a real prayer open the door of my eyes what am i not seeing oh god was listen was it not elisha they were surrounded by all kinds of people and the, the his son was was afraid and he said lord open his eyes that he may see the door of sight the door of sight with the eyes of an eagle he will show you tomorrow and show you what let me tell you this years ago before they even started to put teachings online then it was not it was not a popular thing to put messages online and the spirit of god told me this is how the future will look like and he said you just carry your teachings and put online it will cost you but put it online my angel will take it to the nations and i will announce you with those teachings the power of an open eye you are privy to spiritual things listen if you follow what people are doing you are too late when the door of your eyes is open you pioneer things and you you reap the benefit of pioneer status in this lagos your lagos once upon a time they were tying water in leathers is that correct that's how they sold it but people who the door of their eyes were opened they were able to see that the day will come this water we play with will bless people someone saw it and went ahead into the future to begin to package it and only God knows the kind of rewards those people have. What is close to you that God is going to use tomorrow that you are not seeing? Is God speaking to us tonight? Yes, sir. The seeing eye. The 
hearing ear that God can open the door of your eyes and while you look at people you can discern I don't know what is in this man but I'm seeing that the next four years there is a grace that is coming on him please come let me be part of your lifting so that while you rise you will imprint in your mind that there is the memory of one who helped you listen don't come into people's future and expect I have an entitlement mentality when you did not contribute in their rising we live in a very very funny world if you do not have the eyes to see men when they are in the cave of Adulam do not expect to be invited when they are on the throne it takes the seeing eye I share with you a big secret tonight there are many people who continue to get angry at the rising of others because they think I used to know him we were neighbors now you are a CEO, why won't you remember me? But did you see it? Did you see a neighbor or you saw a prince on his way to the throne? Is God speaking to us? Yes, sir. Many years ago when I was in the seminary, a great great man of God he was a reverend stayed for many years in the US he was like a father to me that man looked at me and said you are going very far wasn't really tongue-talking you know very charismatic respect people who can see let me speak to you Yoruba nation you have a heritage of sight don't kill it God gave you the grace. There are fathers in this land. They may not be educated, but they can sit down and sketch your future and say, I have seen it. So when you fail within this territory, it's because your eyes were truly closed. Are we together? I've studied the history of the church in the West. I've studied a bit on the heritage of the fathers. My God, those men, they were not eloquent. Some of them were not educated, but their eyes were opened. They could see, they would sketch the future with digital precision and tell you this is how it will be. Are we blessed? We're talking about open doors here. So this man becomes great and he can remember that I contributed to his rising. When the devil wants to destroy you, he will reduce you to only see men in the flesh. Oh, this is my younger brother. This is my elder sister. How many women have lost great, great potential husbands because they could not see? As at the time the brother came, you saw a trouser of 500 naira, a shirt of 300 naira. That's all you could see. Because I'm not being sarcastic. And yet someone else looked and said, this man may not be able to buy Gary today, but based on what I see, this is a prince. Forget about what you see in the prison. And someone took the risk enough to say, let's go. Even though we cannot so carry today, I know what I have seen. Let's go. And when the man becomes, when you see the Son of Man in power and glory, he will now vow every time he looks at her, he celebrates the risk of sight that this woman was able to see enough and say, No matter what you want, even if it's to change a car for you every year, I will do it. There are people who saw certain men of God, these people so much, because the eyes, the door of their eyes were open to see. Hallelujah. I remember a humorous story. Um, recently, someone reached me and said, I've been trying to reach you. Um, you mean you don't know me? Honestly, I couldn't even remember the person. That I've been trying to reach you. What is the meaning of this? You know, I've been trying to reach you. This is how you people make things difficult. Are you trying to say you don't know me? And I said, Oh dear, these are the kinds of people that this message is for. You see, the ability to see.
my mother is one woman that God granted this grace to see right from when I was young this woman ah, respect elders oh find the way of respecting elders not just because the Bible says so but because in doing so you will be able to leverage on their power of sight they can sit down and see far and show you a road that when you follow it may not be pleasant but it will lead you to destiny hallelujah the door of sight the door of hearing the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town some people heard it others did not hear it because the door of their ears were shut and they could not come to receive the question i always ask is you know the blind man at jericho i hope you know he had the bible says he was blind the door of his eyes was closed but the ears were open and he had jesus was passing he said, ah, ah. thou son of david he took action because he could hear there are many times people do not take action because they are not hearing is god challenging someone tonight that when it's time to pray more than just praying for money more than just praying for increase you must the real miracle believe me is not business exploits the real miracle is not more contracts the real miracle is open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things when the door of your eyes are open and the door of your ears are open you can stand beside a madman and know that he will be a prophet tomorrow and while everybody is running away you stand and have a track record there are people today their relationship is their stream of income you ask them what is your stream of income they say relationship and you dare not laugh at it because it is true they have invested in too many people to be poor to struggle their testimony is in the heart of every lifted person no great man ever forgets them because by the power of insight open eyes they identified great graces and lavishly invested in those graces hallelujah yes sir what seest thou he says the rod of an almond tree he said you have seen correctly this is proof that your eyes have opened the eyes of many people are closed believe me when i tell you this just because you are looking it doesn't mean you are seeing you can be looking and yet not see a destiny helper comes to pass you you do not see an anointing comes and passes you you do not see every good thing comes to pass you you do not see you call evil good you call good evil is proof that that door must be opened tonight when i pray i pray for my eyes so lord grant me the grace to see and the thing about sight is you can look at a person born again filled with the spirit anointed blessed but you know this person should not be my destiny nothing is wrong but because your eyes are open it does not have to be a sinner he does not have to be a dangerous person for some reason because your eyes are open you know that no this relationship will not be productive for me you do not have a reason for it yet that is the action you take and five years will prove that your eyes were opened listen believe do you know what it means to be carnally minded it does not just mean to be fleshly minded it means to be governed by your senses that you do not have another faculty of perception and interpreting reality more than your optical eyes more than your impulses you must open the door of your eyes so that you can see so that you can discern hallelujah there are people i've seen listen i can look at someone truthfully speaking wonderful obedient and i look at you and say this man is a rebel keep watching 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm a man of God. I love you. Stories. Keep watching. Preachers, you must pray for this grace this night. Otherwise, you will have episodes of pain. You will invest in people again and again and again and again. And at the end of it, you will find out you really do not have an army because your eyes were closed. You waste your energy on wrong people. Are we together? Yes. Very powerful. Esther, I mean um, Ruth and Naomi. You know that they were Naomi and her sister had the same situation, and she went away because she could not see. And Naomi, Ruth held on to Naomi, said, I'm not going. I know what I've seen. I'm not. They say, Go. He said, No way. Your people will be my people, your God will be my God. And it was Naomi that advised her. And she met Boaz. That's not the miracle. She became part of the lineage of the Christ. Please listen. As I'm talking to you now, the Holy Ghost is going to be showing you opportunities that pass you because the doors of your eyes were closed. Relationships you should not have kept, but you kept them because you could not see. And today they are the sources of pain. And other you can see someone who is stubborn, rebellious, very, very rude. And God will say, still keep this person. And you are saying, God, I want to drive this person out of my church, out of my life. This, this level of stubbornness, I am tired. And God says, don't worry. Out of all that hundred days of stubbornness, he will give you one information one day that becomes a ladder to your next level. Have you seen people like that? They, they are, they are, they, you are embarrassed standing near them because staying close to them will make people doubt your Christianity. And yet God will say, stay there. There is still something in them. You will have a foolish house help that does not seem to be wise. Are we together? Fry egg. The person will cook yam. Do this every day. Do all kinds of wrong things. And you are angry, about to dismiss them. And God will say, do you not see? I brought you in this house because this girl may not be educated, but her grandfather covenanted with God that let my children's children, anywhere they go, bless those people. I brought this girl not for house help. I brought her as an act of favor. So if all you see, if your eyes are closed, you will just see a house help who is foolish in her decision. But if you discern the grace, one day you will call her and say, young lady, let me buy you a dress. And you tap into the covenant of her grandfather's favor and turn your business around. Was it not a little Jewish girl, a young maid, who told, he said, oh, I look at you, Naaman. You are a great man for this aspect of your destiny. She could see more than a leprous man. But Naaman could see more than a slave girl too. Because he, a captain, a, a warrior of an army. And he saw a little girl. Let me show you a mystery that is killing many people in the body of Christ. Their eyes are closed. Their ears are closed. How many good things have you driven in your life because they came in packages that could not be seen hallelujah you are a CEO and the person who always cleans your office he came from a lineage of terrible prophets and although he's a cleaner he can see he knew when they dropped a charm in your table even though he was not there and he's been trying to say sir i know that i'm a cleaner i'm not worthy to talk to you but if you can give me two minutes my grandfather was a prophet i started seeing before i got born again he will tell you 
and yet because you cannot discern you say look i have a business meeting sir i i had a dream i saw white men coming to your office i saw someone putting poison in your cup he said no 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 young boy go away he was sent to be a deliverer only disguised as a cleaner but because your eyes were closed people will come in from a place and kill you and you die the death of a fool because you could not see someone hold your put your hand on your eyes and cry god open the door of my eyes what am i missing why am i stagnated in one position open the door of my eyes oh god pray it doesn't take long for God to lift men but the door of your eyes must be open I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding be flooded with light that you may know hallelujah praise the lord now look at me you've heard my story years ago years ago pastor i loved god with all my heart i was already in ministry but things didn't just line up especially in the area of finances i went to buy something i think it was sugar cane and then i saw two women when i looked at these women see let me tell you god stores his anointing and his covenants in men many times the careers do not even know the heritage of what they are carrying hear what i'm saying if you are waiting for men to be conscious of what they carry before they give you you will never receive anything the same way we have mineral resources discovered or not they are still there there are spiritual resources distributed in men through tribes and families and the covenants that their forefathers entered with Jehovah. When David was going to fight Saul, there was only one, I mean, was going to fight Goliath. There was only one question Saul asked him, not who trained you. He said, whose son are you? I want to know the spiritual heritage you are coming from so that I will know whether you have the covenants that kills Goliath. Hmm. Because this Goliath does not fall just by training of Amory. There is a spiritual tribe that has a spiritual investment that can kill Goliath. So David, these are mighty men, men of war, but they are not from that tribe. Whose son are you? where are you coming from he said go and fight i know what your people carry do you know that there are men that are connected to dangerous spiritual covenants yes sir there are people who have a covenant with god and mama entered a covenant with god and said god i did not go to school but let my children not beg that was her covenant and you will watch somebody who is not born again not serious with god lawless and yet he will get a job he will be insulting god to his face and another job will come again and the person does not even know why things are working for him at least what i'm sharing with you tonight are deep mysteries of dominion hallelujah so watch this that you are able to discern what people carry there are times God introduces people into your life 
it is not the physical thing they can do he's introducing the covenant they represent physically they are not useful let me tell you the truth they are not useful in any way to you however god says to keep them there because of what is in them if you want to be famous if god wants to lift you and announce you to the world from nigeria your feet must touch lagos there are two cities your feet must touch abel kuta and lagos if your feet does not touch it prophetically your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant in the realm of the spirit abel kuta gave back to lagos pray in the spirit for one minute Yes, sir. Tonight is a feast of light. God is opening doors, showing you the mysteries that the eyes of men, men cannot see. Hallelujah. Sit down. Listen. When God wants to train you spiritually and God wants to build you to be a mighty army, your feet must touch the knot no matter where you are in this nation he will orchestrate an excuse and make your feet to touch the north a mystery the north prophetically is a spiritual training ground in mount zion the side of the north the city of the great king But when God wants to lift you, even if you are in Zamfara or Meduguri, he will find an excuse, even if it means for your boss to break down in Abel Kuta or your boss to break down in Lagos. You come out and you are walking and complaining. Why is this boss not walking? And heaven says, thank you. Now that your feet has touched there, you can receive of... Ah. Tonight, I teach you how to read the writings on the wall. It takes an open eye for you to see what you call disappointment and you may not know that it is prophecy. Watch this. So you are an ordinary house help and God makes sure you come to Lagos to serve a woman for just two weeks. And after two weeks, she will drive you and say, I don't know why I don't like you. Go away. And God says, go. You, you, uh, you don't know the purpose of your being there because your eyes are closed if you see what transpired in the realm of the spirit there is almost no calm ground in the west that my feet has not touched it's prophetic are we are we together <laughs> ah people of God we must pray that this door of our eyes are open so that we interpret the happenings in life do you not know watch this there is a secret in the spirit and that secret is that you see this John the Baptist you see John was a dangerous man John was not just a Baptist though John was the continuity of a spiritual program John was Elijah watch this so when jesus showed up when he looked at john john said i can't baptize he said look it's not your body i'm looking for i'm tapping into a covenant because according to god's program the lord does not show up until elijah goes before him it's a spiritual protocol that before the great and terrible day of the lord elijah shall come now jesus could not be manifested so he looked for elijah he found elijah listen when you go to people who do divination when you go to people who do divination they will tell you certain things now some of what they say of course is not scriptural 
but notice sometimes they will tell you go and feed certain kinds of people they are not just saying go and give them food for nothing they are saying they may be seated as beggars but they themselves don't know what is inside them they come from a tribe that can lift communicate honor because when when they conjure powers they don't see things in the flesh again so they can tell you buy a plate of rice for a madman and he said no 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 this madman is not the madman even though he's a madman in Gadara there's an evangelist hiding in him that can win 10 cities now divination will show you the evangelist not the madman so people tap into those demonic things you see they still prosper because they manipulate spiritual laws of course it will destroy them eventually because it's not routed through the office of the christ but i'm just telling you that it's a spiritual protocol hey believers wake up moving with life scientifically enough will cost you eventually the days that will come in require that the door of your eyes be open i'm buying sugar cane and i see two women stand in front of me weak looking old looking women and they're about to lose their this thing they tie to put money inside and i look at them and i'm compelled by my spirit to honor them i'm not sure it was more than 100 naira sir i just paid for them and they were blessing me blessing me blessing me god bless you god lift you and for some reason i didn't even pay attention to what they were saying and then one of the mama looked at me and said my son forever walk upon gold it's the realm of your glory it's the realm of your grace i can see your mighty power moving in this place we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. When it was time for Abraham to rise even though God wanted to lift him he could not just rise like that then one day he met a strange man called Melchizedek the king of Salem whoever told you that men are just bodies men are mysteries covered with skin if God does not open your eyes you can be married to your husband for 10 years married to your wife for 30 years and not know what was hidden there jacob was a prophet that never prophesied until he was about to die you can have four children and say well that's enough and yet in the realm of the spirit every time you sleep you see five children you say god forbid i rebuke that spirit i'm done giving birth i'm not ready to shout around any hospital again and yet the holy ghost is telling you the fifth child is the deliverer it's not whether you want children or not when the door of your eyes are you can suffer for the rest of your life in the realm of the spirit the child is saying why did you not allow me there is prophecy that must be fulfilled notice children that become great their parents will tell you we had stopped we never planned giving birth to you and sometimes god will find a way ah this god are you getting blessed great man that's why i feel sorry for young men who do not have honor you see some of these are fathers and all the great ministries around 
they may not be as enlightened in terms of spiritual knowledge they may not be educated and articulate as we are but we will be joking if you dishonor their altars and dishonor the covenant they had with god some of these your fathers could not speak english was it not from equity state i was coming i was coming back and i saw a little city there this city had mysterious grace for long life 132 years i saw 141 he just died i told the driver back because if you have the eyes to see back and we could not find anybody who was speaking english there but they were christians i said please look for someone they found somebody with limited english and we said all right please look for the oldest man here tell him we are men of god that i'm here to receive the grace for long life you you cannot live 132 years by mistake in this wicked world no sir where did your enemies go to that you lived 132 years whatever grace made you surmount them i want it do you know why because I travel all the time and I know that the anointing on my life is a controversial anointing. So look for long life fast before you die like a chicken. I hope you understand what the Spirit of God is speaking to us. Listen, when you know the blueprint of your destiny, fish the graces that secure you quickly. When you know your destiny will require you passing through fire when you know your destiny will require you passing through water find who makes a boat find who has a fire extinguisher add them before the journey starts so when i stopped there they got somebody i saw some women standing and i greeted them they interpreted for them and then eventually we went and there was one baba he was not even looking too old nobody holding a stick nobody looking like they were dying what kind of grace is this in your nigeria yet we say the oldest person in the world is 114 years uh -uh. come to nigeria the home of mysteries are we together and so they told the baba they interpreted i've come to receive the grace for long life and he smiled he beckoned in yoruba kneel down those who carry this thing know they have it all yes sir so you can be praying oh god bless me god will say i've blessed you but do you have the eyes to see where to come from are we together when i knelt down and that baba was praying in yoruba i don't understand yoruba i honestly didn't care what he was saying as he was praying i felt like a crown physically come upon my head when i was done watch this i got up and i sowed the seed appreciated him truly honored him i was going to go and enter the car again then i went to tell the women thank you the women that were gathered and i now celebrated them and they told me the 132 year old man he was a senior apostle he just died that that's his wife i said ah i'm sure she'll be like 120 something and yet she was standing i said please let's go although he has died you are still he's still alive in you two have become one is that not what the bible says i said let's go back you must pray for me she tapped me she said come we entered a room and she started showing me pictures that was the wife of his youth the wife of his youth when she was done it was time i said now she should pray for us she removed her shoes put her legs on the ground and said kneel down when a woman takes off her shoes and puts her feet to make contact i hope you know the earth is a point of contact the earth is a universal point of contact there are five elements that the supernatural expresses itself in them one is earth everybody's leg stands on the earth so the earth is a point of contact your destiny helper his leg is touching the earth now so he, you can use it as a point of contact and call them forth this woman 
stood on the ground and for 15 minutes or so she first started with a song in Yoruba I honestly didn't know what she was singing all I know is that she was prophesying over my life ask my people whether the plane goes like this I continue to sleep do you know why because I've chosen life <laughs> I'm sharing with you the first time I met your pastor when I looked at pastor he was fair one I saw that this man is a great prophet of God but let me tell you one grace I saw with your father he has a kingmaker anointing truly there is a grace on him that makes kings I saw that maker grace and I said, no, this man carries that grace. You can be in this church for many years. My pastor, how are you, sir? I hope you are okay and never receive anything. A stranger will stroll from Lagos and meander like someone who is missing and just come and say, daddy, sir, I know you are a man of God, but you are a prophet of God. If you are in this church and God wants to lift you, there is a grace on your father for not just revelation but confirmation there is a real grace that confirms what God is about to do in people's lives the question is can you see it hallelujah you look at a woman with 15 children one womb same woman 15 children firstborn governor second son vice chancellor that daughter consultant yet she didn't go to school you really think she can train those children like that no there is a grace you can be struggling with two children and package a seed and say mama you don't know my name and I don't know where you are coming from but to raise 15 children and none of them is an arm robber none of them is a prostitute whatever grace release it on me Mama may just laugh and say, my dear son or my dear daughter. Towards the end of last year, one of the women that was part of founding a great ministry in this nation, abroad, in a number of nations, the Lord gave her an instruction to fly down to come and see me. Old woman, successful children, I just hear that this woman is around to see me towards the end of the year mommy God bless you she said my son God sent me to come because it's a season of strange lifting for you and God said I should just come just fellowship with you and that when you come to my nation I should be responsible for your stay for everything but I was wise enough to know that it's not just about staying in a house there is a grace on her that must be introduced into my life when i say i'm a product of many anointings it doesn't mean i'm a product of impartation for many men of god i am a product of impartation for many altars if you wait for men of god alone to bless you you will not go very far because the real people that bless men of god are not men of god the real people that bless men of god are in the secret go and read your bible they are king makers a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the west the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house, prays, supports missionaries. Whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry. Be careful if all you look at is physical results. Because God hides great things. That's why your heart cannot be seen. Imagine if a woman's hand is on her head. Or a woman's womb is on her head. Do you know what your enemies will do with the baby? So God hid it inside. I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure 
every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs god hid it so when god hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret the more powerful you are in the spirit the more god hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the west here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time. But as soon as you open the door, they will call your name and say, sit down. Let me tell you your destiny. And you are wondering, who is this? They say, young man, you are going to be great. But be careful on the ninth year of your life. If you are not careful, this will happen. What I'm seeing, you should fail. But give me room. Let me go and tell God to change it. That's how they will talk. By the next day, they will come. They will say, I discuss with God. You are free. You would think it's a joke. Look, those people knew God. Oh. They knew God. Some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head. They were not in a... a, a... If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor, we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability. That's why we young people have a lot of balloon success. We come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient. I was talking with Minister Dusin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move. He, he happens to be at the same place with, with God's servant, the same region. I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God there. They were men. They had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, this should happen to you. But I just discussed with God and he agreed to let you go. can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come i just flew in from europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and god will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then you correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with god i wish what i was saying were a lie but it is true Lagos hear me when God says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investment the real door is your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come i can look at this man and in the spirit i can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now i've taken advantage of open eyes but because i do not have character and i'm not serious with god i will prophesy to him call his name are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me Are we blessed the miracle of open eyes who is God lifting in January who is God lifting in March you must have the eyes to see it so that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man it is easy to rise when your eyes are open you will know where to channel your energy productively so you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising Are we together?
the first day I saw your daughter, sir, F.A. Nathan, I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, ah, this lady is not just a worshiper, she's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. The first day I met with Minister Dunsin, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see is not just a song, he's continuing something ancient. The national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past. It's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Listen, do you know there are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It is true. It does not happen in all cases, but believe me, there are certain graces. There are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married. And God says, just do what I'm asking you to do. I am joining altars more than men. And two of you will bring a hybrid combination. The children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with and nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me I'm highly favored. What is why didn't the spirit appear to say, Okay, be patient as a husband, just let me just use your wife to give birth to the Messiah? And hear me, while all that discussion was happening, Joseph wanted to, is in your Bible, to leave her, and an angel appeared and said, Mr. Man, don't you don't know what you are doing? There is a mystery, just be patient, let them give birth to Jesus, you can have your children, but be that father. You are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know. Do you believe what I'm sharing? so there are times that you will have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces God will he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him Jesus I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. 
you understand i will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense but believe me if you call what i'm saying nonsense i wish you good luck in this wicked world this cruel world that ignorance is you pay with your lifetime this is the mystery behind the results of people now nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries you just see people rising and here's what we say you are lucky i'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars there are support systems that lift people that's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is back in them hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people he's a military officer one time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram and they almost killed this my dear son for me I said Lord I thank you for the military people who are fighting but please I ask you take this my son out of that place we still need him for a long time and that's why they carried him I think he's in Lagos now so. and he still comes to serve in the media every time this is a military man because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true otherwise a day will come songs will not come again a territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months inviting you every day to every meeting after six or seven months they will spit you out and that's the end of your career but there are people who remain ever fresh the secret i tell you you look at them is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone they are tied to something that is ancient you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die is God speaking to us we are going to pray I know that our time is gone but we'll pray before I begin to minister ah this morning God will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning it's already too late both conception and delivery happens in the morning in the night listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children. This is not it for my destiny. I thought things would change in 2016. I thought things would change in 2017. But Lord, this year of open doors, maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically. Walk around this auditorium. It's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Please wear the instrumentalist, just help me. Someone is walking around and prophesying. Don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position by the power of the Holy Ghost.
Salita Baranda Salatasiaka Brakataka Tabarakato Sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Shekete Kaparakata. Shekete leke parato sosiata. Embrata satalikata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen. In the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Parakato shalakata. Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata. Embrekete kete ke parakatos. Lakata prakata zikate. Repo shavaka parakatos. Lakata prosana parakata. Ekrete reke paruto shotoka. somebody's hand don't, don't we lay the man of God please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions I tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken you're going to lift your voice again Lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman? What altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it to honor. Lift your voice and Shut up, 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 shut up
name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to lay your hands on your eyes and you are going to say the door of my eyes. You are also the door of my destiny. In the name of Jesus be open. Let me see. Lift your voice and begin to pray. And lift your voice and pray. Be open. See opportunities. Be open. Be open. Be open. See relationships. Be open. In the name of Jesus. Be open. In the name of Jesus. A father. A father. Be open. Be open. Be open. Let me see my helpers. Be open. Let your business ideas. The door of my eyes. Be open. The door of my eyes. Be open. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it is of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me some three my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying Rise from the ashes of mediocrity. Rise from the ashes of failure. Rise from the ashes of limitation. Rise from the ashes of 
give us one more prayer point in John 11 when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of Jesus that every stone that covers my glory my family our name our relevance we roll you away by the Spirit of God it's time for Lazarus to come forth someone is praying pray for your family pray for your relatives Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of retrogression. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. Roll away that stone of shame, of reproach. Roll away that stone of limitation. It's time for me to come out. It's time for my destiny to be announced. It's my season of appearing. Roll away that stone. Roll it away in the name of Jesus. I tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can I give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away but yesterday is still holding you refusing that you will not enter tomorrow everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow whether it is your past whether it is your failures Jesus, let me go I cut away from you lift your voice and pray <laughs>
Alleluia. Alleluia. You can't believe that it's already morning. We just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over. But listen, listen to me. There are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist. You know, the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough. One thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness. Take it from me. When there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny, he said resist the devil and he will flee. Not he may flee. If he's not fleeing, the resistance is not strong enough. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Did you bring your prayer request? Sir, is, is it all right? Okay. Please return back to your seat. If you've not written your prayer request, we'll give you five minutes. Please write it because I'm about to minister now. Inside, outside, those following online from whatever nation, you can write and send your request. Please do it very quickly. We're about to pray. Everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go. Please write it down. Nobody's reading it. Right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away. So you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request. You don't have to write your name. You just write what it is. Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time. The ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing, for deliverance, for breakthrough. This is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical. Once upon a time, three kings came together to threaten the people of God and they submitted the request on the altar. Go ahead, write your requests. The Bible says, to be anxious for nothing, he says. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Please write it down. And in case your faith did not allow you to write some things, write it again. No. Because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them. Because we say, can God make a way in the wilderness? Here for you, come and do what you do. We are here for you, come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you, come and do. Hallelujah. Now, if you've written it, please, ushers, ushers will go around. You're just going to pass it. They'll bring it before the altar here. You can pass it to the last person, maybe the person on the aisle. Can we do it that way? Maybe to make it easy. Or ushers, just go around. Maybe just find a way of organizing yourself. Please make sure everyone's request is here. Just, you can just submit it. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do, come and do what you do. Set our hearts, set our hearts.
submit you to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their request. agreement with the altar of your father pastor Amos Fenwa just just with here you pack it back so let's Rapata, 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 Rapata,
asking me to stand on it listen the moment i stand on it the power of god is going to begin to touch people please i want you to bring them out it's an instruction that the holy ghost is giving to me hallelujah the lord is giving me an instruction that the moment i stand on this and i stand on it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over this congregation father in the name of jesus the anointing that must open doors right now from the left to the right the front to the back may that grace locate people now Amen. take that grace now Amen. please bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. you're going to sing a song for me let your power flow in this place bring them out let your healing power like a rope this is delay and i'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out i release that grace delay break now please bring them out now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay tying down people's lives be broken now I call for signs and one inside outside bring them out the spirit of delay Shalakatabata whether you are inside outside bring them your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. It's time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family i'm seeing right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god Break them out. Break those chains. bring them out. God is bringing deliverance. Help that woman.
come on please there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus now please hear me I'm still praying the Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness at the count of three you are going to shout that name Jesus there is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life are you ready now please bring those people in the name of Jesus anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft i come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout may that yoke be broken you will shout jesus at the count of three one two three jesus I bring you deliverance. I bring you healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their destiny. Release their lives. Release their destiny. Hallelujah. I give the chains for Who is Stella? Stella. Stella. You are wearing green. Stella. Who is that? Is there a woman called Stella? What's your name, ma? You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, ma. Can I pray for you? Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is John it's alright I will pray with you whose mother is in the teaching hospital there's someone your, your, your mother also is in the teaching hospital sick I don't know who that person is but please come I want to pray can you find that person I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you I want to pray for you Kemi who is that K-E-M-I Kemi that's, that's somebody's name Please who is that? Quickly Ma I want to pray for you In the name of Jesus the son of the living God I truly see a very serious breakthrough Why, why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, 
I command that you go out of her life now in the name of Jesus out of her life see let me tell you please don't think we are wasting our time here God is rearranging destinies my dear the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you remember not the former things this this young lady nor consider the things of old come the Lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus let this happen even by the Spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ Susan 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 I'm hearing the name Susan who is Susan you are Susan Susan mama you are Susan from where from where are you is, I'm help us. is this mic working huh I'm married to a kitty but I'm from Delta I want to pray for you can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family the power of God is going to come on someone now the Lord is averting death from your family it's, listen, no, 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 it's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death, I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God. It is averted now. When the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit. That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door. Tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No, the one wearing red. Tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you and I pray the grave is a spirit it can call people you can hear it like someone is calling you but it is the grave I command in the name of Jesus may your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave in the name of Jesus for you and for your children and I declare you are free now and you are free forever Please don't be embarrassed there is the Lord is showing me a woman here I know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that person I'm, I'm saying up to one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Haribiti Arabata Enyato Bitu Haribiti Please stand up Stand up Enyato Bitu Please stand up, let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said, but you still came out But God God will still touch you I know some of you I hope you are all married Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Oh. Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. 
Maryland, yes. you're in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, yes. you will have a child? Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now. Release their destiny. Release their fruitfulness. It's over. Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you and I prophesy according to the time of life. I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God, I decree and declare you will return with your child. In the name of Jesus. My dear, is your husband here? Because the Lord is telling me he's here. Where is he? Please help us. Are the mics working? Call him. Where is he? Husband. So let's save time. Our time is, is. Do you call his name so that he will hurry up? Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here, sir? Okay, someone has gone to call him. There is a reason why I'm asking him to come. I hope you're not embarrassed. A few minutes and, and we'll be done. What's your name? Susan. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? What do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you that every altar that stands to destroy your destiny in the name of Jesus I cause that altar now out now sir how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb huh? yes. about six years do you believe the end has come yeah. hold my hands My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction, look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? <laughs> I spoke about business and you ran out. Ah, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen? Kitchen utensils? Ah, okay. I will pray with you to help. But... Madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August, there are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children. Come. Who is this one? This fella, my firstborn. Your firstborn. Where is she? Uh, at the road. Pray for how? Huh? Yes. I will speak in parables. The Bible says, "The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity." Please pray for her. I am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again, you are not born again. I'm sorry, but this, this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association. Praise the Lord. 
so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy God's people oh madam I pray for you may doors be opened for you now in the name of Jesus and for all of you here who are standing I want to pray for you August is your month of wedding who is that August come because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble I must pray for you I'm not saying if you want to marry August to please understand what I'm saying what I'm seeing too many people no I'm not saying if you want to marry one well. are you married huh August no I'm talking I'm sorry maybe I didn't communicate it well I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August because some of the people I'm seeing here you should not be is there someone like that this is what I'm seeing please if there's someone like that I want to pray for that person now you your wedding when August it's been fixed is your pastor aware Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh? but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. This is the wife and this is the husband. This is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean... Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I sick. I was sick. I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? My son is a member. Okay. Okay. You went for Beria. And from After that, your leg just paralyzed. I fall sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give the testimony that I nearly died. Said. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you, eh? Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life now. In Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come, it's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I've prayed for you. Have I prayed for you, man? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan, where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the community, but I'm from Anambra State. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry, right where you are, just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out, I'll pray with you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Now, I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. From the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed now. Be healed now. Every lump in the breast area or any part of your body, I command it to disappear now. The power of God is touching people. Migraine headache, be healed now. Peptic ulcer be healed now. Heart palpitations be healed now. Every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus, I correct it now. Pile, no matter how long, be healed now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you have severe pain around your molars, your teeth. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Touching that person right now. We're going to take a few testimonies here. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain. You've not been able to figure what the problem is. Month after month, excruciating pain. Right now, you're going to feel just like fire, a warm sensation, and that's the end of it. I declare, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I think because of your blood group, you have um, a lot of pains. Help them. The power of God is coming on that person right now. Around your joints, severe pains. In the name of Jesus, right now, the power of God is touching you. Every problem with your eye, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, be healed now. Any challenge with your ears, in the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating. 
you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of jesus i declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyenia around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus i'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now bring the lady that shouts under the anointing the power of god is coming on a lady now i'm seeing a lady not a man it's a very loud shout please bring that person i just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that i'm seeing there is something in your stomach that god wants to remove out in the name of jesus thank you jesus this is an instruction god is giving me so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now i want to pray no that's not the person the power of god is going to come upon the person i will still pray but that's not the person this one i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i was praying and the holy spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual you have to be sensitive to the holy spirit we are here responding to what he wants not what we want and if you are not sensitive you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives praise the lord i don't know why he does these things sometimes but we just are patient please just be sensitive the power of god will come on that person Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.